So, there's been a lot of discussion recently about whether or not they should pull or save on the Zatali banner, or maybe there might be a Zhongli rerun soon, maybe there might be a Klee rerun, we don't know what's coming soon, but I know for sure that Mahoyo will 100% make a Zhongli rerun at some point soon, maybe because they, they've seen the outcry, they've seen a lot of people really, really want Zhongli, and I don't know, I feel like they would 100% make a Zhongli rerun banner for everyone who really desperately wants him. Maybe a 1.5, if not 1.6, they'll 100% make it, and that's what we're going to talk about in this video. We're going to talk about that, versus that uh, child versus Zhongli, and then maybe we might talk about Klee as well, because Klee's another candidate for, for the next rerun banner, so... If you do enjoy this video and you want to support me, please feel free to sub because only 4.7% of your views are subscribed. And if you're new or returning to the channel, we do daily Ginch Pack guys, news, discussions, streams, gameplay, anything in between. And I'm trying to get the growth on the channel back picking up again because YouTube unsubbed about 50 people from my channel. And yeah, it's kind of blaming me that apparently that was my fault when they sub me. But let's get into it. So, we're going to talk about Child. So, there will be some gameplay in the background and that will probably be child you know, gameplay with Beidou and Zincho. It's a great it's a great team comp. I love this team and if you like child that's what a free to play child looks like and that's how he plays. Now we're gonna talk about how to build child now and I'm gonna switch back to like regular cam and here we go so my child's level 80 I've not sent him to 90 yet but 1.1k attack with 48% crit rate to 96% crit damage, so it's a decent 1 to 2 ratio that you want to try and keep. Ideally, I run the Blackcliff Warbow, however, if you don't have Blackcliff Warbow, you can always you can, you can run Prototype Crescent or Windblue Mode, but these two aren't the best, they're like the baseline of what you can run on Child. If anything, the weapon you want to run is you want to try and run Rust or Skyward Harp. Blackcliff Warbow is a nice step up between Prototype Crescent slash Windblue Mode and Rust. If you can't get Rust, if you, because Rust is one of Child's best weapons, because the passive of it, it works 100% with how Child functions. So, yeah, that's how Child kind of builds. He also builds artifact-wise. He'll build a four-piece Heart of Depth set, and you want to try and get crit rate and crit damage and hydro damage percent on the Goblet, and that's how he rolls. And also with his talent-wise, you want to try and level up his his E. But oh, I might add more cost for it now, but maybe I might change that up later. But that's how you want to level up your child. So now, we're going to talk about another character, which is going to be Zhongli. And Zhongli is a character that I don't own, but the reason why Zhongli is so popular is because content creators build him. A lot a lot of people have a Zhongli, and the thing with that is that a lot of people see him now. A lot of people see him, he's used in a lot of, team con you know, a lot of teams, he got buffed in 1.3. Everybody wants him now because he looks strong. It's either he's strong, people want a husband though or people just like him in general. He's, he's the most popular character in the game, says my poll, by like a good long shot. It'd be kind of weird if they didn't rerun him soon, because they've reran Child and Venti in this update. So we're going to talk about how to build Zhongli. Now, obviously I can't, I'm going to show him in the counter archive screen, so we're going to talk about talent. So talent wise, if you're building a support Zhongli, just level up his burst. Ability. It's the coolest ability in the game. It it grows um, damage off of his HP, which also in the 1.3 update, by the way, increased his uh, his normal attack and his and his pillar damage. And as well, his new shield. Um, I think I think we do it. Yeah. So um, yeah, Jade Shield will decrease the elemental res and physical resistance of opponents. Which means basically you put a Zhongli shield on anyone and you get a free 20% damage. Now, that kind of makes him a bit strong. Now granted, he is a god. He is literally the Archon of Geo and rightly deserved. But how do you how do you build Zhongli as well, weapon-wise? So we we already discovered that you level up Zhongli's you level up Zhongli's burst, and then you might level up the other two to six as well while you're at it. Now, equipment-wise. For Zhongli, there's a lot of okay weapons you can use. If you want to run him as a support and you're free to play, you don't have any other choices. Prototype Star Glitter, you'll get away with it. It, you know, it got energy recharge. You can run him as a support. If you want to run him as a main damage dealer, because why not? I mean, Crescent Pike is also not too bad because of the physical resistance decrease. Granted, your numbers aren't going to be as high because of his, of his normal attack numbers, but you'll be doing some okay damage with Crescent Pike, and it'll be fine. I mean, Lithic Spear is also another okay option, 
but so is Deathmatch. But ideally, you want to try and get some of his five star weapons. So Vortex Vanquisher is pretty good. Staff of Homer, very nice on him. Skyward Spine, that's pretty decent. Primordial Jade Wing Spear is not the best, but if you have it, why not? You know, you can throw it on him and you'll probably be fine. For weapons you don't want to use, you don't want to use Dragon's Bane. Uh, you, you probably don't want to use the Royal Spear or the Dragon Spine Spear. Vonius Lance it, is good for energy recharge if you really want a lot more energy recharge on your Zongli. And Blackfoot Pole Lum and Deathmatch, they're, uh, they're okay. I'm afraid I don't know too much about them, so I can't talk about them too much here. But yeah, Child vs Zongli, are they free to play friendly? I mean, I mean Child and Zongli, they're both very free to play units. I mean, I'd say more Zhongli than Child, because Zhongli can fit into any team comp with any free-to-play unit, whereas Child, he's his own DPS, but, however, the lack of bows that you can put on Child, you know, early game to mid game, it kind of relies on having the Gacha or the Battle Pass to try and have, get you some decent weapons. However, Prototype Crescent is okay, and so is the Black Cliff weapon, so, on the free-to-play stance, you know, you, you will live. You know, with Child, but with, with Zongli, you know, you can throw on this Blackcliff weapon, well, not Blackcliff, uh, the Blacksmith weapons, and you can also be just, just as great. You can probably do even better than, than Child, and honestly, Zongli is probably a better unit than Child, especially because a lot of players have free to play, oh, well, a lot of players, even free to play players, you know, at this point, they will have their own main damage dealers at this point, and either they'll, they'll pull Tartalia because they want a new damage dealer, or they won't because they've already got too many damage dealers and they'll probably pull Zhongli anyways because you guys probably have a lot of damage dealers and you want a new support that'll make those your team even stronger so that's why she pulls Zhongli and now we'll talk about Klee as well because why not because I, I forgot about Klee I know I made the best I made the like most like character in video in Genshin and I forgot about Klee it's kind of a shame I know but Klee easy character to build right you just normal attack boom Jumpy Dumpty, like, like you can just level up all your talents and constellation wise. I mean, I think her C4 makes this for a different playstyle. You throw on, a, you throw on a, like a four-piece Crimson Witcher Flames or a Lava Walker set, and then when it comes to weapons, you can like, you can throw on either the, um, I think it's, I think the Widsip's pretty good on her. Uh, Map and Bear's okay. Eye Perception's all right, but the ones you probably really want are Solar Pearl. And I've and lost pairs to the sacred winds. I'm afraid I don't know much about Klee. I, I I just don't know any. I don't know too many people who play Klee, but I know she's popular. So yeah, let me know down below. What banner are you guys gonna say for? Are you gonna say for a rerun banner, or are you gonna say for any new characters that they might release? Because I I mean they're probably gonna release a new character in 1.5. That is hoping. And let's and let's decide. No, now are we gonna say for a rerun, or are we gonna say for a a new character, you know, it's gonna be interesting. But thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, thank you guys for supporting me so much, and I'll probably see you guys later on today because I'll probably be, I'll probably be able to, hopefully be able to get this up before I do a stream later, where we just do the weekly bosses. So yeah, so take care, everyone. Have a lovely day, and I'll see you all later.